Can I just say before we start, um, I did get some tweets, the fact that you were on, I got some tweets. The best one was someone said, you need to um, change the way you approach things right. uh, and have a better manner about yourself. Right. What would you say to that? I'd say fuck right off. <laughs> Katie, you are extremely rude. We're the alternative in the mainstream society. You're, you're totally prejudiced towards tattooed people. Why, what, because I'm a plain skin? No, that's what happens to us. People instantly make the judgment, though. because like, your face like you is coloured, the sort of colour of a first-class stamp, my chicken. The, the reason why... How on earth are you going to get yourself back to normal? I, I don't see it as being back to normal. But this I is myself, camera, and I express myself. I can see the camera through your left ear. I can see it through your left ear. Yeah. Do you not, and if I look from that side of your head, through that side, I reckon I could see all the way through. If the only thing you can do to stand out in life is colour your whole face in. That just makes if, you a kid if, with a crayon. If book. one of your children... He's an artist. You... Now, I am the extreme side of tattoo and body modification. You don't because that's say. my passion and that's my life. Do you know what my passion is? My passion is... Eating. <laughs> one of the things that's closest to my heart is a fat tax for fat flyers. <laughs> I have to pay for my 20 kilograms of luggage on cheap crappy flight and airlines, yes. When some fat chubster just up the aisle from me <laughs> doesn't have to pay anything to get on board that plane, when quite clearly they are carrying more cumulative luggage, I think when you check in, you should weigh in. What do you think about people that are carrying a bit of timber? Yeah, well, I think they're lazy and they need to eat less and move more and stop being lard asses. But you're doing a documentary, aren't you, about putting weight on? Uh... Yeah, so I put on four stone to prove that skinny people aren't lucky to be skinny. They just move around a lot and that fat people are, in fact, lazy. Last time we spoke, we had a deal. I was losing my three stone that I put on to prove fat people are lazy. Do you seriously yeah. think it's OK to turn around and comment on my weight and I that's do, OK? I do, I do. I think you've really let yourself down. How much weight have you put on since we spoke, Stephen Dolly? Five stone. Five stone! What are you doing to yourself? And why have you eaten? What have you eaten? Have you been eating the audience? <laughs> Are we missing some people that we used to have? Are there some cameramen that are no longer here? Are there some sound? Are you new? To prove that your Did he eat the last is one? To... I think this is just pure hatred, and there is no room for hatred in this society. I don't think anymore. Ultimately, I darling, think that ultimately, that I, I have no hate. I have no hate. I have no. No, hate you skin. do. You I clearly look, do. Listen, Dolly, I look for the best in everyone. Do. It's just that I so seldom find it. <laughs> You're looking at the wrong places. I'm looking and at your surroundings. Right Andrea, you're welcome. Hi, Ryan. Hi, you're, uh, How are you? You're not hard to spot. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Well, well the do one you know, thing... so, so, <laughs> that's just mean. Yeah. Like that's not. That's but not you know even what, Katie? Funny. Let's look. I'm ruthless. No, you're, I'm you're, honest. You're, you're, but what, what about people's different metabolisms? Exactly. <laughs> people have excuses all over the place, like, I've got big bones. Yeah. And they haven't. Yeah, but people have different metabolisms, that's what I'm saying. Well, if your metabolism is really slow, yeah. then maybe you need to shove less in this end so that you don't get fat. Forget about the medical side. I'm not interested don't know in their story. stories. Are. No, I haven't got time. I haven't yes. got time for your well, stories. I'm going to look at you, clearly. make a quick yes, assessment. You don't, want to hear my, you don't even want to hear my argument. No, I don't. I'm, I'm just, just raging. You down. You're a raging, angry, fat person in a pink well, jacket. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I am. I can take you down in a fight any time. You're going to fight me? Come I can on. take you okay, down. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. But hang on, guys. I don't agree with what you say, so I am going to fight you. Do you not realise where you're going with this? this How is did actually, you get this big? This is actually to do with a hate crime. Okay. And you you're against a hate crime. Absolutely. In, in and can we call the police? I'm still calling the police. Would you, you like to bring the police in? Then I have a phone right there. Still I think free. we should do it right now. Go for it, go for it. There's a phone. Great. It's probably we'll have my phone and we'll call the police. Would you like it brought to you? Because it's probably going to be hard to oh, call. No, no, Isn't this rule the fat tax is because it's costing the airlines more? Darling, it is. It's perfectly practical. It's perfect business sense, which is why you can understand, darling. And that's just great. Okay. Well, I think you're a perfect yeah. example of green sweet pea because you weigh 25 stone. Yeah, it became personally offensive and I believe it's a hate crime and I'd like to report it. Katie, you've been a victim of online abuse as well. Do you think we need tougher laws? 
No, and I absolutely, you know, I push back on this term victim. I don't see myself as a victim at all. Look, Twitter's there for people that want to use it. If you don't like it, get off Twitter. It is only vanity that makes people read the damn thing until their eyes fall out of their head. And Sonia and others going running to the police, I have simply no time for it whatsoever. I think women actually don't want equal treatment. They couldn't handle it if they got it, quite a number of them. It's a tough world out there. What, what a lot of women are actually asking for, and you can look aghast at this, is special treatment. If you look at all female shortlists for positions, is that equal treatment? Or is that special treatment? I think what women need to realise is that you have to toughen up. We can't ask for equal pay. You have to be paid on performance. Uh. And you have to be paid for the results you deliver. When people tweet you and say, I know where you live and I'm going to come and murder you, that's a big difference to somebody saying, Katie Hopkins, you're a pain, we don't like you, you've got a big nose, or whatever they say to you. There's a big difference Sonia. between that. Sonia. Yes? Feel Let me read in. you one of the tweets I had this morning. Go on. One second. I'm going to read you something I had this morning. I'm going to come to your house, tie you down, and murder your children while you're watching. Disgusting, now, I had that this Katie. morning, Sonia. So do not dismiss. Do not dismiss the tweets I get and assume you know better. You don't know better, but I am man enough to deal with this stuff, and I enjoy the fact Twitter this is, is there. This is nonsense. Yes, it's blunt, but no, if you Katie, want polite, you don't deal dress with in a dress Katie, and go to a tea party. Katie. Any other defenders of Katie's point of view before we move on? Anybody with a sense of humour? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? No. Sonia, I'm not worried about the trolls. I'm more worried about the knackered old goats going over the bridge that can't handle it. Frankly, if you don't like the forum, Get off it. Our police have better things to be doing and I'm sure our taxpayers don't want to be going out there spending their hard-earned money on police coming around to deal with problems for small women like you. You know, for me, asking the British taxpayer... Asking the You're British taxpayer... Hold on, I'll just answer your question, shall I? Yeah, uh, but asking someone the, in the I'm audience is awesome. If you ask me a question, then it's probably useful if I answer it. Or we Don't can just, you can just chat. Don't me. I'm asking you... Then I'll answer your question. If She's you ask a me a question, I'll answer it for you. If you give She's me the space to do that. But do you, you stand by I it. do. As I just said, yes. I thought I was going to explain, but you wouldn't let me. Our next guest insists that Trump will win. DailyMail.com columnist Katie Hopkins joins me now. You think he's going to win? I think he's going to win. I think you guys are in for a big surprise, which I'm quite excited about. I think we've seen a very similar thing here in the mm -hmm. UK with Brexit. We saw a lot of the liberal press kind of sneering at Brexiteers. We saw a lot of the sneering that we see from the Clinton News Network. And I think it's something... We That's CNN. Like... You're calling us the Clinton News Network. That's exactly correct. This is the man who talked about grabbing women by the pussy. Is there any point, a part of you, that feels, this is not my guy. I don't want this guy <laughs> to be talking like this about any woman at all. Do you Listen, not despair for the future in any ways? Sweetie, I would rather be grabbed by the pussy than have a pussy for president. 70% of individuals find Clinton to be utterly distasteful. I find her way, abhorrent to look at. Her little smile there does nothing for me. So but as Katie a woman, Hopkins, nobody's saying like everybody her. loves Hillary Clinton. Well, I think you it. just did. Women, Absolutely you said not. women love Hillary. Women do not love Hillary Clinton. I never Clinton. said that. You're okay, literally you misquoting me. Tell, tell me your quote. I gave you a Give poll me, where she had a 12-point advantage poll. over, uh, oh, over Donald Trump the female. Poll. They really are meaningless. This, Move on from polls. I'm bored of your polls. Okay, but you just quoted something I said that Give was completely me, factually correct. incorrect. Tell me the correct quote. That women love Donald uh, no. Hillary Clinton? Oh, wrong word there. Clinton. When did I say you, you that? You love Clinton, remember, not Trump. This, this conversation is actually going completely off the rails. I'm not offended by the Katie, expression. Katie, uh, he, he's no longer in the locker room. He's in the Oval Office. Sure, and that was a private conversation eight years ago before he was running. Whilst Clinton was in the Oval Office, of course, uh, Monica Lewinsky was on her knees with Hillary stood right by her. So I don't know if you're going to say that's any better, sweetie, because well, I don't think it is. He, she's not president. I'm talking about the current president election. Yes, but when States Bill Clinton was president. I'm not talking about the past. I'm talking about the future. And, and eight years ago, before Donald Trump even ran, he used the word pussy. I'm not offended. You are. You deal with your any issues. Of what we've seen with Clinton, essentially, she's just the wife of an ex-president. She was there supporting her husband whilst he was in the Oval Office with Monica Lewinsky on her knees next okay, to him. That well, is not we're the get a, strong we're, woman we're, I need. You're going to cut me off because no, I said not at all. You just said she's someone's wife when she off? was Secretary of State. She was someone's wife and he had affairs in the Oval Office and she stood by him. That is not a strong woman for me, honey. Let's, uh, but if you, if, if you call me honey, that is just very you condescending. Find that hard? 
Okay, no, what word would you like me to call you? Rude. I think one of the functions of the BBC ought to be to help the British people to understand how the American people have had Trump level pegging. I think until a few weeks ago, looking like he would be the winner. Maybe not just at the moment looking like that. But I take Katie's point that we still don't know what the result's going to be. Well, we did help the British people to understand in the but final the BBC, edition of this week may, before the summer recess. If that I may, the, the BBC thought that Remain would win. Of course, the BBC were proved very wrong on that, as with so many other things. I didn't realise the BBC had a collective view on these things. I think it was very clear that you did. The idea that immigrants are somehow super sexualized, that they're committing crimes on a greater level than Europeans themselves are committing crimes, that there's no room, that they are an economic burden. All of these kind of things are myths and fables and hysteria and hate and prejudice that the likes of Katie and the far right are very, very happy to peddle. Katie, you, surely you must agree with that in some sense. You can't believe that all immigrants are criminals and, and rapists. They're no worse than anybody else, surely. <laughs> I think it, there's no way, there's no chance I'll ever agree with a single word that comes out of Mo's little face. You know, ultimately, <laughs> what he loves to do is sling a label around xenophobe, far right, Islamophobe. Get ready for it because he loves to label people. I'm not from the far right. You if know the what? Label sticks, I'm wear a it, Katie. If the label sticks, wear it. Do you mind? Wear it. Do you mind? Do you mind, Mo? You can throw labels all you want, but they mean nothing to me. You've and said me. that. We've gone too far in regards to the Muslim population and quote, we've lost control of vast swathes of our country. Where are these vast swathes? There's plenty of places in the UK that other people will tell you, I can tell you, I would not well, walk me. through, I would not walk tell through. Tell us this. these vast swathes of, of our us, country where we have and lost control. And if you control. didn't talk so much, I might be able to, darling. Oh, do, you, do you Stop believe that name. immigrants are, are more likely to commit criminal acts than the natives? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely, I'm saying that. It's shown to be true in the statistics. I think culturally the two don't map together. They what have statistics? no respect for what white statistic? women whatsoever. They do not have respect for me. I'm a dirty kafir as soon as far as they're concerned. They call me a whore and they'd be happy to use me at their, at their will. And I don't want myself nor my daughters exposed to those type of gentlemen. And gentlemen, they are not.